Welcome back to the broadcast, everybody. How are you guys today? Welcome. I'm Miss Shine Light 7. This is a 21 plus reading. Raw, uncut, unfiltered, unbiased reader. I don't know what the messages will be before the messages come out. So please take only what resonates with you and leave the rest. Suggestions, questions, and comments can be left in the comment section below. This is a general plus a collective. It will not resonate with every single one of you. And if it does not resonate, will you check out some of the other videos in the playlist? As well as before you go, make sure you subscribe, like, share, hit that bell notification along with the thumbs up. Hey, 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 everybody. How are you guys today? I hope you are having a great day, evening, or night, whenever you are watching this reading. And I have your messages for today on the as above and so below. Today we have take and stop. So we're going to take a look at something. We're going to maybe stop some things that we've been doing, that we shouldn't be doing, but we are doing, <laughs> along with your wish so something that you asked for something that you brought upon yourself something that you wanted to be a part of or somebody wanted to be a part of your wish in this energy okay so that's what they're talking about here in the energy so if you are new to my channel welcome if you are a returning subscriber to the channel i thank you for being a part of this channel and i send love and light to each and every one of you guys okay so let's get started i have your messages for today um uh, let's see that's where we want to go let's see things that things the ghost in your house says things that are crazy Okay, things that are crazy. Um, on the B, you can you can't help who you talk, who you um attack, but you are responsible for who you entertain. You're not a uh, you are not responsible for who you attract. So you know bees. We attract bees. Some people have a sweet scent to them. It could be our perfume. It could be um. Our pheromones that we let off of bees can be attracted to you. But also in this energy, there is competition and hooked. Somebody is hooked on something in this energy. We're going to find out what they hooked on. Maybe they need to be hooked on phonics. Maybe they need to be hooked on comprehending some things or understanding some things. But they are hooked on something. We're going to get to the nitty and the gritty on finding out who hooked on something in this energy. So we got you can't help who you attract, but you are responsible for who or what you entertain. Okay. Under the bees. Okay. Fireflies is here under the Y. Things the ghost in your house says. Now, I don't know how many people you got ghosts in their place. I just saw 333. I don't know how many people have ghosts in their home. Um, I don't. I mean, not that I know of. And that's why we burn sage to make sure we don't have none, nothing in here that don't belong or anyone that don't belong. Okay, for that matter. So let's listen. Y'all take and stop and your wish. So you wish for these things. Some in this energy you wish for. Okay, something in this energy you would wish for. And we're going to get to it, y'all. Let's get to it. So we have ghost people. They said ghosts is in your house. They said they're here. I don't know. Ghosts. They said that the hearth, happiness in your hearts and homes. So something in your house and your home as well. I don't know, y'all. They said angel of time. Working too hard here. Working too hard on something here. Or somebody trying too hard. One of the two. Vampires. Vampire emotional intelligence. They know exactly what they're doing. You know, a vampire know exactly how to come in and suck your energy. Come in, come in and steal your ideas. They know how. Because you know who they work for. 
the devil. Right. That's what it, that. I want to drink your blood. Now, I think that's Dracula's. I don't know. But vampires, I guess they do the same thing as a Dracula do. Suck your blood. Suck your energy. You know. Steal your st st cipher from you. Fairies. Fairy of the divine hand. Intoxication. Distorted view. And overindulgences. Boop, 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 boop. Number 37. No, number 34, number 40, and number 2 is in the energy. Might resonate with you. And we got invisible. Somebody is not them, their authentic self. They're not being authentic here. They are hiding them themselves. They are hiding themselves here in this energy here under the competition, under number 3. Okay, let's see who's on the bullets in here. We got the voodoo in blue. Back off. Back off, Buster. Let's see who else we got. Okay. I don't know, y'all. Can y'all see down this far? I'm going to push y'all up just so y'all can see. And make sure y'all can still see. Yep. All right. And then we have... The Jack-O-Lantern. The jack o lantern, and that's for our protection. Okay, now that's supposed to be like a scarecrow. He's supposed to back for the back before the what was it? Was it Solwyn? Solwyn holiday. They would put out it's you know for the pagan Halloween. You know the I guess the day of the day would be right after November the first. Will be the day la 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 mortis. You know when they would put. The, when the veil between the dark and the light came together. So this would be for the, like a scarecrow type um, of energy for your protection. You know, scare off ghouls and goblins and, you know, witches and all those things away from your home. But here we have somebody here. And she's still trying to see what's going on. So she's still trying to get a good look at what's going on here. She's trying to see what's being told to her or what's shown. Oh, yeah. Don't care. Stop. Let's get crazy. Not today. So this is a not today energy with the police officers to here. Stop. Why, why are you ahead here? Stop. Or somebody might got a restraining order. Somebody might have the police called on them in the next six nights as well. On the 20th, we have that new moon coming in as well. Okay, that new moon comes in. as well so let's get some of this energy y'all because this is a lot of energy here number 22 is in this energy under the voodoo in blue blue voodoo in blue now i've been debating you guys about that um new orleans or narlin new orleans um the voodoo deck i have put my mind um if I wanted to get that deck or not, mm, I'm still under the up in the air about it. If you have that deck and you're a tarot reader and you're in here, you know, what what are your takes on that on that deck? Excuse me, one second, y'all. I want to cut this teapot off before it starts screaming at us, so we can have a spot of tea. All right, you guys, let's get started. I am ready for you. I am ready, ready, ready. I'm ready. Ready as I'm not going to get. And it seems like this is very huge today. And then we got the X factors over here, things that will let us know some other things as well. But when we get there, I'm going to get some energy out here, though, to see who whose happiness in our home in our hearts and in our home so in the past with the gargoyles here at the top of the of the card excuse me uh, at the top of the card that tells me it's about some protection gargoyles was protecting your home or something here um your hearts was in it at one point your home was kind of happy and warm and you know inviting type of energy 
but I'm getting some other things. I think we got some vampire energy in this energy that's showed up 1004. And it's talking about emotional intelligence. So somebody knows exactly what they do when it comes to cipher your energy. It could be your friend. It could be family members. It could be um, a soulmate or some type of partner, some type of common law husband and wife, mistress, booty call, hookup, just bell. Um, Harlot or rebel in the energy, baddie, hottie with a body in this energy. This could be an onlooker, a cross watcher as well. Invisible, not being your authentic self here with authenticity. Okay, in the in the future, no coming in the future energy, they still won't be their authentic self. Right here in the present, you got a vampire. Right in the past, y'all had a happy home in the hearth. In the hearts of this happiness in our home, in our heart, we, we was happy at one point. Okay, But now we got this lady here. She's standing here looking like, I don't know what's been going on. I'm trying to figure it out too. So let me look, pull her up so you can see her. So she's just standing there trying to figure out what's going on. Uh -huh. She's trying to figure out what she could see. She might be seeing something. And this might be the person that's spying. Got some information for you. Something that she saw. Is that so-and-so with somebody else? Is that my friend so-and-so? And who is that person with? Somebody here. Faceless ghost and the hornet girl. This is ghost people. So somebody might have ghosted you here in this happy home. Where it was happy. Where it wasn't. Under the working too hard. Somebody putting in too much work. Somebody doing something that's um, causing them to have a lot of oh, hard work show up here. All right, let's see what we got going on, y'all. Let's see what they got going on. Uh, 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 uh. Says, this is about um, in this beautiful energy, a lovely girl in the bare woods is being moved into moved in on by two mass ghosts so somebody two people is coming in in on, on your energy okay they do not reveal their identity but she can feel their presence strongly she remains calm as she knows who they are they are the nopra bow and faceless ones who have no features and who take on the form of others around them no face ghost no face no case type of energy they wear a variety of masks and they regularly take up a new cause or identity without being aware of their own needs to grow and learn themselves because of this they seek out energy from others who are bright, strong, and real. Now they are seeking her. And it's is likely they are seeking yours. So they're seeking this ladies, but they also seeking yours too. So somebody in this energy is a ghost in this energy. They wearing a mask. They either ghosted you, but they are some people they still there, but they act like they're not there. So they watching and not watching. They there and not there, but they are there because you can feel their presence. Okay, in the energy. Also with the um, angel of time. Angel of time talks about. Oh, sorry, y'all. I'm gonna back back just just one second. I didn't give you. These faceless ones are coming to me trying to take advantage of what they see as my moment of weakness. But I do not fear them as I know that they are blank, formless, and simply taking on any energy that they can find. I know who I am and I clearly see that they do not. They are simply spirits who have lost their way and so they feed off others. I may not be at my strongest at this point or in time but I'm stronger than I've ever will be they will need they will not feed off of me for I know who I who they are and what they and what it is they seek I do not wish them harm but neither will I give my energy away to them I will always warn you to do 
the same. So she's warning you to do the same because there's some people around you that is um trying to steal your energy here. And it says that the um you may be you may seem in need of help to these people who actually have an agenda at the moment. The people around you are acting like experts and supporting each other in group mind settings and wanting you to join them for your own good despite your misgivings this i mean they will they either do not have full form identities or they are too easily taken on the belief and ideas of a powerful other of powerful of others you may be asked to join with others in their belief and be alarmed at a mindset and belief system that seems very blank and faceless devoid of human joy and warmth so there's that whole under the hearth hurt under the hearth happiness and hearts of home this ain't they come and tear up your home because they home ain't happy they tear trying to tear, where their house ain't happy they coming to tear up your house because their house ain't home happy is what they telling me all right, so let's go to the angel of time. Angel of time says, I'm getting straight to the point here because someone really has to tell you, tell you. Stop giving so much um, to your work, um, all your time, your energy, your passion. Take a better care of your health. This is the time to um, fulfill all of those promises you've made to yourself, but barely made, even if, even in the effort to keep, meditate and eat well, and take up um, gentle exercise and change unhealthy emotional patterns that are compromising your well-being. These are the challenges you need to set yourself, um, to set for yourself. Gaze into a candle flame. Write down. One true thing you love about all of your friends and pay close attention to all the messages your body sends to you. Um, then make the changes you know you need to. Um, I thank you in advance for a happy for a happy you. Make this world a far better place. Alright, that's under the angel of time. Working too hard. Okay. And this is take a break and um from the mechanic from the mechanicals and the technical work is needed please take a break from electronics and um devices like computers cell phones and even ipads clocks and watches it's time to simply rest in nature and embrace swim in the ocean float in the lake walk in the forest and meditate in a cave camping hiking gardening would be the most beneficial at this time. It's time to unwind um, the tightly coiled springs and detach from the mechanics of the deadlines and then merge yourself into nature's time and truth and true truth. The angels of time tells you to do this now, and that means now. All right, so the fairy of the divine hand. And that's important, you guys, because you need time to, you know, gather yourself. You need time to heal. You need time to reflect. You need time for personal mental clarity as well. Um, it's always best to do that, you know, in private, in a, in a you know, safe, in your sanctuary, like taking a bath you know, salt bath or something of that nature to help, um, you know, ground yourself as well, you know, in these energies, okay? Because sometimes we can work overwork ourselves and we really don't know how much damage we are doing to ourselves, you know, when we overwork ourselves and never, you know, take time to, you know, well, like they say, smell the roses type of energy, okay? Um, with these inner vampire energies and this invisible here. Um, I'm going to the fairy of the divine hand here. And that's talking about, it says, I am here to reveal to you what will tempt you. It is delightful. Um, this thing you are being offered... 
and surely a little won't hurt. I am a fairy of the divine hand, and I appear to you when you are blinded to what you must see. Come and truly examine what is being offered to you beneath this apparently harmless fun spending party distractions and temptation lies a disorientation and fear and things may appear to be quite different than they are truly are but here look at and look closely do you begin to see what will take place if you continue down this path and if you're if you sugarcoat the possibilities of where this may end, do not push down the feelings and warnings you have. Instead, come a little closer and look. Do you begin to understand that what seems such seem such a small thing may indeed change lives? Take a moment, look, think, connect with your deeper wisdom. Um, decide whether you will join in with what is tempting you or whether you will watch in a while longer and make the wise decisions instead that's what they talk about with the divine here it says stop stop right now and your intuition your inner sight and clear your vision is sent a clear vision is sending you a very clear warning a red flag and just oh a red flag has just gone yep gone up and it this is the time to stop and look and listen before going forward your higher self your clear sight wants you to stop and think before simply taking this wonderful temptation someone is offering you it may be in the form of secrecy relationships junk food alcohol at a party sex before you're ready or behaving in ways that are unsafe and disrespectful speaking harmful words and thoughts that could scar people for life or a long time this is a moment um indulgence could have long-term repercussions um that could lead you away from well-being clarity and harmony you know when the temptation comes that you do not need to flee you do not need to indulge you do not need to curse and bereave it this lovely very earnest fairy with her clear message to stop and truly look at what is taking place you know you simply need to pause be quiet clear and know now that one of your fiercest addictions is seeking you out and are wavering call um catch in this and catch in its delirium this is not an opportunity to escape this is your chance to break free. Now here's your escapes here on the sides. Those are your escapes. And that will be the escape deck. Um, that is my escape deck. I do have that out on the table today. And then the last one is the voodoo blue, voodoo in blue. Uh, voodoo in blue talks about number 22. Voodoo in blue. She talks about you are doing so well right now that you may begin to attract some attention from people who are quite simply optimistic and you are being kind and wishing to help and so i am going to step in and give you a very clear warning i do not mind if i look like a bad guy what matters is that you get the message time to do a little stay away magic and while I won't be sending them bad thoughts, after all, there's no point, no points, no pins in my voodoo doll. You, if you take my advice, won't be asking them to come around for tea anytime soon. Your feelings are right on this one. You know what to do and don't get involved and don't be bullied. You may have to snarl a little a little to get them to stay back. All right, so that's just a little bit. You're going to have to snarl a little, a little bit to get them back. I didn't invite any of you guys for tea, you know, even though I am brewing some tea there because, you know, of chest congestion. But that's because I'm under the weather a little bit because um, of the seasons change. But as we want to, as we know, 
in this energy they came with a lot of energy for you guys today they came with a lot of energy in this message and i want to reveal it to you i want to get a little bit of a backstory on it first and then we're going to go forward under the heart the happiness of the heart and home this is trust the timing trust the way you came in on time is not running out so time is not running out there. What about um the the vampire? The vampire. They said this is perspective. None of this matters. Zoom out. Come common ground. Common ground. So zoom out in this energy. Things that you see and you need to get a broader perspective of these zombies. These zombie people that's taking your energy. And they told you they're going to send a clear warning to these folks. They didn't invite a fatigue. You might have to tell them to stay back a little bit. Um, This is called here. This is somebody called here. This is soul gifts and training. It's time to step up under invisible. Step out of this mask, this unauthentic self this person is in or yourself you might be feeling a little like you're not yourself in these energies right now you know things is deadline and crunch times and money and pressure and bills and all types of different things is showing up right now but i want to see what our protection they want us to protect here what do you want us to protect with this jack-o-lantern what are we protecting here under our protection here what are we protecting here what are we protecting we look like we were checking our childhood here, child, like abandonment. This is innocence. We might even be protecting our children here in this energy. You might be protecting your child, child here. Things, a ghost in your house, um, in your house says. So your child might be seeing um, a crossed over energy in your home. Lotus flowers out in the mud came a, a beautiful lotus. Our, our beauty. And we're protecting that. Our our waterfalls, our effortlessness, our our flow, how we flow in life. You know, we don't want to be uptight and always worried and always trying to meet deadlines. When they tell us to get out in that nature and ground ourselves as well. This is a full moon coming in. Under this energy, we'll be coming into a completion. Under this protection here, this full moon is going to bring in some protection for you. Under this autumn equinox that we're in. Under the dawn of a new day with the beginning here in the energy as well. Ghost people, that's some release you might need to do. Under are working too hard. There's a new beginning here. Under the intoxication, the distorted view, and the overindulgences. This is a volcano. This is anger. This is madness. This is crazy recklessness. This is about to blow here. Back off. Okay. This is instinct here with the wolf spirit in the energy as well. So let's now let's get started, you guys. Now we got somebody to talk to. All right, let's see who we're talking to. Let's see what the competition and who's hooked here. Who is hooked? So I got possessions here. So somebody is possessive over somebody with the vampires here. Ask me if I give a SHIT on the detective. So somebody's doing some work here. Somebody's going to see somebody for who they truly are. Then I got the detective again here. Okay. Under the call. Okay. And if I was a bird, I know who I SHIT on. So somebody tried to SHIT on you behind your back or in your face. Somebody tried to do it in your face. Two detectives out here, two people spying, and they told us the ghost was out here spying as well. So now let's see what this is over here on the X Factor. This is Q for Quickie. So somebody over here getting some sex in this energy over here under our skate. They try to escape this as well over here under the P. Somebody escaping by smoking some pot. So somebody in this energy might be over here smoking some pot, trying to escape in the energy. Smoking a little pot. And they got CBD out here now. Delta 8 or whatever the case may be. And it also is for pain management and such of that nature. So somebody might be out here medicating themselves. I see that. I see that. Somebody out here medicating. I got you. Cheers. Dabbing. Got you. All right. So let's see here under the hearth of homes. Hearts and homes. 
Somebody just skimming the top here. This is a painter. Somebody trying to paint this the way they wanted. This is skimming the top, though. That was just the surface of y'all relationship. How it looked on the outside. Where's the meat potatoes on the inside perspective? The hanged man. If I drop down, them zombies going to get me. So, just the hanged man. That's the... um. Ask me, ask me if I give a SHIT. So the magician is out here as well under the call. Let's talk about the perspective and then on the call. So you might be taking a break, relaxation, seeing things a little clear here. Under the Ten of Cups here. This is your stability. This is your happy home. This is the call for your happiness. Okay, no matter what's going on over there. Where the zombie apocalypse is happening at. No matter what's going on over there. They're telling you to take a day. Take some time and reflect. And get yourself out in nature. And ground in this energy. With the um, queen of cups here. Take a bite out of life now. This is eating brains now. But this is already a zombie. Or this is what's going to happen. This is where you're going to become. You know full of toxins and toxic with these other folks. You know eat. You know. Going, going through this apocalypse with these other folks, you know, because these folks is greedy. This is a wake up call as, as well with the tsunami here, stingy and withholding here, um, stingy and withholding here, a clouded judgment as well under the hangman, still cloudy here in this energy. Something hit the floor, and that's uh, two faced it, two in your sea. Two in your underwear as well. Two-faced it, forked tongue. That newt is out here in the energy. Here, newt. The energy of newt. So that is the forked tongue, two-faced, betrayed, deceived, lies, gossip, backstab, and never trust. Never trust this folk. Never trust, trust these folks here. Don't trust them because they said they was ghosts. You need to release this. This is a, a new beginning that's coming. Somebody with some volatile energy under a two, which is under some type of union. And I told you what kind of union it could be. This is somebody in here coming for sex. And I mean possessive sex, though. Like, they use this as a weapon. <sighs> they use this as a weapon. And... This is the instinct they go by. Wolf instinct. They prey on you with all types of things. They prey on you under the cloud of judgment, okay? Under the cloud of judgment. Let's see what else they got going out here. Let's see what else is going on out here. Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to pull out some of my energy to see under these quickies here. Okay, let's see. Okay. So this is an entanglement under these quickies. This is an entanglement. This is a narcissist. This is cunning. This is gullible. Now I've at least a half of a chance. Future is totally fabulous. This is a loss. This is um the reminder that um Give it to me. This is the contract. So somebody you got a contract with, somebody you hanging out with, somebody, what's about the pot here? What about this? This is about my Hulk Hogan here. This is a wrestle for you to be confident. This is wrestling. This is, you know what I mean? You know, also wearing a mask. Now, he's a boy. And his mom is standing there like, why you got my clothes on so this is him wearing a mask so somebody in this energy is still wearing a mask and you even got hulk hogan wearing boa boa feathers so something this is hulk man it's some type of wrestle here some type of something that you gotta fight with and this, this is the battle of the bitches here this is a hustler this is um defines a macho as jogging home from a vasectomy somebody that's probably having a lot of sex with a lot of folks and this is et here, so this is also um, alienating you or making you feeling like you're being alienated here in the energy. All right, so I'm gonna get the get the nitty and the gritty here. Let's see, we got the Knight of Cults. <coughs> Excuse me. Under the release, under these ghosts. Who is these ghosts? So who is the ghost here? Ghost would be. The Queen of Curses. 
Okay, the Queen of Cups. Somebody, um, a woman. Could be a woman that's wearing a mask in your life. Could be your mother. Could be a friend, a co-worker. Somebody that um that really does not like you. Under the new, under the dawn of a new day. All right, nine of cults. Could be a group of them in energy. Okay, could be a group of them in energy. They could be watching you, talking about you, making some type of rituals around you, about you, talking about you behind your back, backstabbing. Mm -hmm. Trying to balance the scale, the star here on a new past. What's volatile here? What's the violence? What's, 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 why is it so violent here? Why is it so volatile here? Why is it so volatile? Something. Somebody's a magician here. Somebody's doing magic. They got the magician here. All of the tools of the trade here under this magician here. And something else flip, y'all. I saw something else flip, I thought. Yes, not. Yes, not. Guess I didn't see nothing else flip. Ten of beasts. Okay? Ten of beasts. That's the ten of wands. Okay? Ten of Wands is carrying a heavy burden here under these instincts, under this completion, under this protection here. Also, the Page of Beasts. Very little, little, very little protection, really, of yourself. You're not protecting yourself here because they're telling you to beware here because they will attack. Say they're coming over to your house unannounced to you. You didn't know they was coming under the Four of Cups here. You, well, you, you, you can't offer nothing, but they still coming and asking, can I get some sugar? Can I borrow some flour? Can I get some honey? Can I do something? Can I get something? Wearing a mask, trying to be in your business. Okay? Under these women. Coming over asking for something. Now you sitting at your table minding your business. And you don't need no fight. Under the wheel. Nine of coats. Okay. Nine of coats. Wheel of fortune. Up or down. In or out. This is how they going to wheel. They over here running the seance over you. Right now with this coat here. Nine of coats. Will be nine of cups. Ordinarily. No nine of pinnacles. And uh. Queen of Cups, emotions. So you're emotionally dead over this situation. Or she's emotionally killing somebody in her in her energy right there. You're masculine. Somebody's masculine here. Beast, wands. Yeah. Page. Two of them, though. They told us the two people was here as the ghosts. And you see these two people covered up here as the ghosts here. Okay? Page. Okay? We don't see who they is, though. But you say you can feel their energy under the instinct. Okay? You can feel their energy under the ten of beasts, under the ten of wands, carrying a heavy burden, though. That's them talking about you. That's them backstabbing, betrayal, manipulating you, not being authentic, wearing a mask type of energy here. And you see him standing there with that big mask on his face. The magician, toxic, juggling. Back and forth energy, trying to will his magic to get it to go his way under this violent energy. And it's not going to go his way because, or her way, and whoever this magician might be. And it's showing me that that was the intoxication. That was the dis distorted view and the overindulgences here. The will and they magic in it, though. Okay? And this is the Nine of Cups under the Nine of Pentacles here. I'm sorry if I said that was something else. It's the Nine of Pentacles here. Okay, under the pentacles, nine of pentacles talks about, you know, um, this was our, su our success, but this is them having a seance over you, saying what they could say over in the new beginning for you, in the energy, under the wheel of fortune, make sure your money stays small, but your money is going to grow here, it's going to grow, they ain't going to stop your money here. This is about sex, though. It's about sex. This is about how they could get over with sex. Wake up call. Let you know they want to sleep with your lover. It's something that these people are wanting to do. A lover, a friend, a family member. Somebody want to break up your home. Somebody don't like the fact that you're happy here. Somebody wants to know it's, it's a hook. Hooked on your energy here. They hooked on what you do. And it's just skimming the surface here. This is um the, the Queen of Pentacles. The, the Two of Pentacles, the Six of Wands under the Magician, and what's the instinct? Instinct here. The instinct is the Seven of Pentacles, 
And what's the full moon under the ten of beasts? Ten of beasts. Is. And that is the hermit. Okay. So um hmm. Mm. Major Arcana? No major arcana but the hermit. So let's talk about the hermit real quick. The hermit talks about refusal in the in the full moon. Refusal, the beast, the ten of you refuse to let this this uh burden go, is what it's telling me. You refusing to let this burden go. Um this is um the retention of the seed, slowing down your pace, allowing the magic of the magic to germinate. When the psychic forces is restrained, its power is doubled. So you gonna have double power coming in under this new moon in the energy. So somebody's gonna have double power to raise up above it, to you know, wake up, call. To see the truth here, you're going to see something. Somebody's going to let you know something here. Somebody's going to tell you something. They're going to tell you in a whisper. Something's going to give you an epiphany about something that somebody's doing in your energy. And let's talk about what they've been doing. What this lady's going to come and tell you. What this lady saw. What the Queen of Cups saw here. What her emotions saying. Who's toxic to what man. Or what man this woman. Man is at another woman's feet. For some reason or another. About your lover. At your home. Let's see what he been doing. Queen of Pentacles. Let's see what he been doing. Mm -hmm. He wouldn't have came out if he wasn't doing nothing. Queen of Pentacles. This is the coolness. So he going to play it cool here. going to play it cool here. This is the magic of the bay leaf. You must fight coolness and convince your partner to be generous, both sentimentally and materially. This will bring serenity, safety, and um, sincerity into the couple. So, somebody might not be authentic. And they told us he was wearing a mask. He wasn't being their authentic self. This is an entanglement. This is a person with forked tongue, the two-faced, betrayed. But deceive, lies, gossip, and backstab, and never trust. So this is a body also with a wand or eye with the two of pentacles here in NG as well. And that's somebody that um that has a wand or an eye. This is embarrassment. This person gonna embarrass you. This is working too hard. This might be at work. Somebody gonna embarrass you. Um, and the energy, the magic of the vertebrae, embarrassment, uncertainty, unease, and the fear of getting involved must be overcome under the will. So in the will of the year, something is gonna be um something that you that is gonna come out that this person has been doing in this will. Okay, under the six of wands, really quickly. You guys, let's grab that. Under the six, that's about touching. That they've been touching somebody else. S tempted to touch or touched them already. This is the magic of the hair and dove. Growing closer, growing apart, diluting, confirming. Every game of pleasure must end and doubt must be a dispel. This is the magician using all the tools of the trade. Saying what he need to say, doing what he need to do. Tempted to touch some other lover. Tempted to be in another situation. Diluting one energy and going into the next. Okay. And then we got the seven of pentacles here. Talking about whispering. Okay. No, that ain't whispering. <laughs> that ain't whispering. Seven of pentacles talks about tiredness. This is what he been doing. This is why he's so tired when he come home. He might have told you he been working all day. Too. Working too hard. This is how or why he's been working so hard. This is what he's been doing. He said he was working and he sighed the magic of the seven knots. A love cannot remain pure and precious over time unless you learn how to give energy to your partner. So he can't give you no energy because he's been giving it to this page of beasts, this other passion. A little passion to you, a lot of passion to somebody else. That was under the instinct and you felt, figured it out. With the wolf instinct, you felt it. They told us that two other people, it could be two other lovers here. Some other lover may come and tell you about this person and what they've been doing. Okay, and then we got the hermit. We had the hermit. The hermit already told us what he did. All right, he already said what he did. And if you didn't catch what the hermit did, the hermit was um, refusal. Refusal to let you see or you in denial 
of not wanting to see it yourself. All right, you guys, let me give you a few more, and then I'm going to say I'm going to catch you later, you guys. What's frozen here under this skim in the top here? Um, what's, the, what's here? They said, it's hurting you made me feel broken inside. Okay, let's see what the cloud of judgment is. They can't make a decision between you or somebody else either, or to leave a job because of the situation. You inspire me to be my best version, but the number 10, I don't feel... I deserve to be happy anymore because remember they told us when we came in the energy this was vampire because somebody else is taking his energy so we seen somebody came over and told us all about it they extra extra read all about it if you didn't catch it come in the front in the in the energy when we got it from the book so we could get the message so we when we get here the joker here they say here this is this love is meant to be this is stingy and withholding. They was holding, withholding from you, but they still wanted to hold on to you. How do I move forward? So now they want to know how do they move forward after they've been getting quickies with somebody else over here under the ace. And I'm scared of losing you under smoking pot. They might be smoking a lot of pot because of stress. They stressed out here. This is the narcissistic behavior, supply, service, and sex, okay? And also, somebody might be going to Vegas. Somebody also might be in Vegas or going to Vegas as well. Let's see what else they want to talk about. This is a spiritual union. Somebody in this energy was put together for a spiritual union, but at the same time, somebody also was um, tempted here with temptation here under the instincts here. They also transformed on you or it's going to transform with the hermit here under the completion. Your third eye chakra is getting the downloads and synchronicities here under how you move forward here. This is where love begins here. Well, I don't know if it's going to begin again or not, but it's saying that you're going to have to put this call in under the number one. This is under the magician here under him touching another lover. Okay. Um, the passion ignited here. The, the passion ignited here. This is when a woman came over and told us. And they're still under the number one. Under him. Um, under his magician. This is still a magician. The magician is always number one. The fool starts zero. And this is fertility. Somebody might even get pregnant in this energy. Working too hard. Yeah. Take care of a, a third party family. Somebody that got a secret lover family. Fa secret um, family. That you don't know about it. And if you want to know more about that, I would suggest you um, book a reading with me so we could get down to the nitty and the gritty about who this is um, and this energy and what they mean to you. Let me get one more on this energy. This is the galactic mushroom, the divine matrix. So somebody in this energy is riding in this divine matrix here. And somebody also wants reconciliation, the welling tree. Somebody's wailing and crying and feeling sorry about the situation. Give me something else. And this is Metox. Repairing the body, mind, and spirit. And I told you they told us that when we came in here. Number 24 might resonate with you. Number 59 might resonate with you. And number 39 might resonate with you. And the palm of my hand is itching on the right. So we might even get some good luck of money coming in. So that's what I'm telling you now. And I just want to get one for the conflict. What's the conflict here? What's the feud here? Tell me one thing on the feud. Not that many. I just want one for the feud. Well, let's read one for the feud. It says, tell me something people in Florida do a lot more than people in Minnesota. So go to the beach, swim, fresh oranges, go to fishing, sweating swimming suit summer clothes and go golfing so that might resonate with you under the feud so somebody might tell you they might be doing some of those things maybe on a vase a vacation or some type of traveling trip or some type of fishing gone fishing and sometimes when a man tell you going fishing not necessarily going fishing for fish because they never usually bring nothing home because they go on fishing for some of that fish fishy cat Fishy something, something. They fishing for something else. Okay, they fishing for something else. And I'm scared of losing you though. 15 and 13 might resonate with you. 1 and 3, 1, 1 might resonate with you. 1, 1, 1 might resonate with you. And that might be your angel number as well. So if you are liking, oh, no, 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 not yet. Sorry, y'all. I'm sorry, I'm supposed to give you a meaning for this 24. Sorry, y'all. Almost. 
the divine matrix um this is an intricate compl um complexity of life you may have been thinking and acting like you were the only one in the dream creating your life the galactic mushroom um arrives yeah this is the galactic mushroom um the galactic mushroom arrives as a playful yet potent reminder to you need to get with your higher power. The universal laws are not for your benefit. Only the laws of attractions do not exist just to serve up your desired outcome. The, the matrix of consciousness called Source, God, Spirit, and many other names is intricately woven into life. There is so much complexity that the human mind cannot comprehend all the moving parts it is possible to see beyond um what you already know just um as a head of the mushroom is clearly visible above the soil but not living below the um thread like um f fungus forms vast intricate networks underground connecting different f life forms um with one another in a kind of internet internet of the plant kingdom imagine the divine matrix serving the same way connecting the individual subconsciousness with that of the divine that's the the galactic mushroom the divine matrix okay now that we go to the well and tree the well and tree talks about well and tree grieving and mourning because that was that vampire energy right and i feel like i deserve to be ha i don't feel like i deserve to be happy so this is the well and tree this is grieving and mour mourning a time of necessary loss and reconciliation when you encounter the well and tree on your path it is an invitation to stay a while and regroup a place for you to rest and allow yourself to say goodbye to what no longer serves you you may have been overdoing things working too hard or putting too much um effort into life with little reward if you've been considering making a change now is the time to do so one important thing is to consider before you make any changes is to you need to allow yourself to feel your disappointment your loss your more what was and what could not be this is a way to honor your experiences to give yourself time to consider all gifts in it to put proper closure on it and to really know what you've um learned as you walk away from it and into something new um even in the perspective of failure there is so much good to be discovered however skipping the stages of loss does get doesn't get you to reconciliation any faster in fact it will discover that you will have to come back at some point so do it now all now look at it all squarely and honestly and stay with your feelings life is not either or it's both and this is that um so did you dive in and process this allow it to become a temporary travel companion up on your journey feel that is feelings that this will bring to the surface will be challenging for sure yet like all things they will pass soon enough and you will be more enriched by the experience okay under the well and tree under reconciliation and then we go on to 39 and then i'm gonna say i'm gonna catch you guys later okay um so let's see this is top me talks Metox talks about eliminating toxic thinking, repairing the body, mind, and spirit, and cleaning house. When the Metox card appears, it challenges you to discard the deep, deeply dear held judgments that you have passed over yourself and others. Release the people who feel wronged or offended you. Recognize that they, that they mirror the shadow aspects of your own soul. And yes, it is a tough pill to swallow. And only then can you call from the life of toxic people you have allowed into your inner circle. It is time to cl um, for cleansing of your parovial, parovial home house. That's the house and house. That's the hearth. And um, getting rid of uh, thoughts and personal judgment, poisoning your mind, eliminating the unauthentic 
um, beliefs of others you've adopted as your own and do so before your mind makes you sick and empty your literal cup um cup cupboards of um unhealthy junk food poisoning your body fast for one day and skip a meal to allow your body to cleanse itself and rid itself of toxins meat toxins appears in a warning that you can no longer postpone the self-care and pampering you long for the time is now do healthy maintenance on your body before you have to take so you have to make repairs that you will never quite recover from metox has come to caution you that it is not too late but you are at the 11th hour do not deprive yourself of the health you deserve so that is what they want to tell you so you do you will heal you got to help heal yourself and don't wait till the last minute to do it because you might have to have pay a bigger cost later on and if you don't do it now you definitely will have to repeat this cycle um until you do get it so if you are liking the taking the um stop the your wish may you subscribe like share hit that bell notification along with the thumbs up and if you would like to get your own personal reading or support with me um it's shine like seven tv at gmail.com namaste now must go